Hey guys, it's Steve. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you how I actually went about. Well, actually, this is Photoshop. I'm just doing uh, changing it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I went about making something like this. Uh, was it fractal or abstract art in Photoshop? And also started off with was a picture of a mirror. Which see if I can get it to pull up here. Drag it to the top. But yeah. This whole design here was made by this mirror right here that I uh, clipped off of an uh, image, a high res image of a mirror. So, um, came out with that. Got something like this. Like that. And uh, this as well. And this was all, I believe made by that mirror so the way you go about doing this in Photoshop is you want to have uh, your actions open so go to window actions make sure it's open and what you're going to do is uh, create a new action and name it to whatever you want to what you're planning on doing which I'll just name it twirl and also the function key is F2. And hit record. Now the first thing you're gonna do is when you have your object here is duplicate it. And you wanna zoom in and just slightly rotate it. And that's it. Stop that. Now being just reset the action to F2. All you gotta do is keep on hitting F2 over and over again. And you'll get something like that. So you grab all these layers, except for the original, and merge them down. Now, you can start doing another action as well. So you create a new one. And we'll go with the distort. And knock that to F3. So I'm going to copy this one right here that I made, hide them, and I'm actually going to angle this one as well. And then I'm going to go to the filters and distort it. Now this is a very heavy on your computer doing this, so it might take a while for it to load up for you. Cause I'm running with the, uh, my computer got an i7 with uh, 32 gigs. So now after we did that, we'll stop it and hit F3. I do realize you are going to get uh, rasterization and all that and the picture quality. And you simply just move some of these around if you want. Like I said, just merge all these together. And the whole process, I mean, for stuff like this, this, uh, this was a mistake. I mean, it was just trial and error to where it came out looking like a lion's head. And I mean, all that really was, I don't know if I can find it, but uh, yeah, it was just a simple distortion that I overlaid over this right here and it came out looking like that. But when you get to where you want to be, you can simply start uh, adding overlay colors. So let's go with the color overlay. I mean, it's, it's all playing with it to get to where you want it to be. But I mean, I just wanted to show this quick tip on how to make uh, artwork like this if you ever want to play around and mess with Photoshop. Because I know I've been pretty much I do Illustrator now, but every once in a while I'll go back and uh, mess around with the action of Photoshop because you can actually get some pretty decent effects out of it playing around with it for a while. I mean, just this image right here, 
end up being over a gig and that's just because of all the filters and the layers involved but I hope this helps you guys out to try something new and uh, again thanks for your support and watch my videos